Hi everyone. So this is April um, with the Flowers with the Foss family. Um, I did a little tutorial on this before and um, now I'm going to do just another one um, because I have some of them hung up on there um, which you saw at the end of the video and so now I'm just going to do wrap a few more and um, oops that's nice so you can see how cute they are so I'm really um, visual um, I like things looking nice um, the what what is it called the aesthetic of things that's important to me um, making things cute so I like watching other people do things like this and maybe you do too and maybe you come here to my channel because <laughs> it's fun to look at and um, it has pretty things and happy things so this is the Sunday Gold Celosia. So in the last video about um, drying flowers, I went through um, all the ones on here, their names and stuff. But this one is called a Sunday Gold Celosia, like I said. And I'm gonna look up because I don't know. I want to know how to collect the seeds from this one. I think we might have a few seeds left from when we um, started these. So we started these in the house and when we started them in the house um, we put them in little um, what are they called? Pods. Oh what are they called? They are like little pods and you put water in them and then they like get bigger but um these ones did really good at first and then the celosia the flamingo the um flamingo feather ones we thought none of them were gonna work but they did and they grew huge like huge 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 especially these ones they were huge and um we couldn't wait to get them out into the garden and then when we get when we got them out to the garden, oh my gosh, they looked horrible. Um, the leaves looked burnt, and um, they were huge leaves too. And now when they're out in the garden, the leaves are not huge, um, and they're healthy looking. But they looked so unhealthy. This part, the feather part of the flowers, looked great, but the leaves were horrible. And um, so I don't know what happened. We had a really, really crappy summer, um, start to the summer. I would say it's still not that great. Um, but it was really rainy and windy and I don't know if that's why. It wasn't warm enough for them. It was too windy. They had wind burn. I don't know, because they're a hot, um, are they called hot weather flower, warm weather flower? I know the other ones, some of them are called cool weather flowers. Um, but man, they had a really, really rough start. And these grew really rapidly indoors too. These Crespedia, these are called Crespedia some balls. Matt likes to call them um, Crespedia. And I was calling them some balls because that's what they look like. But I used to call them Billy Bobs forever because they're so cute. So I don't know if I mentioned this yet in this video. I did in the other video. But you want to get it really, really tight around these because the water um, dries up out of them. And then they, the stems get really thin and then they'll fall out of your um, string. This is just cotton string. And so you want to try and get them in there tight. Um, yeah, so these ones we also started by seed in the house. And the 
foliage is like a has like blue foliage kind of you know that dusty miller looking type but not as dusty miller looking but that color that bluish tint to it and it's just like grassy looking and it's not that cute to be honest like matt hates it <laughs> he hates what the um foliage looks on it and i'm not that big of a fan but i do like these so and we should have planted them closer together i think too Okay, these are um, the Gomprina. And there's four different colors. And I, you can eat these, I guess. Look how pretty these are. Can you see? These are so pretty. I love these. Um, and I don't know how many we started. We started so many of these in the house. And of each color. I'm not sure how many, but more than one, but only one of this color survived and is out there in the garden. So you will see that on my front yard weekly tour that will be up in a few days. Um, obviously I have to still do it, but um, only one of these plants survived. And these, all these Gomfrina had a super hard time. I don't know, I just feel like because they're meant to be in a really, really hot climate, climate and it wasn't hot here. <laughs> It wasn't really sunny, it was raining and windy. The wind was really, really bad. Um, so I don't know. But they grew well in the house. They started blooming in the house. And then when we put them outside, the leaves turned like purple, I would say. They looked bad and they had spots all over them and I thought they had a disease and um they looked super bad but then like these ones so we had this is supposed to be pink i believe it looks like lavender and then white and they're separate they you know they're two separate plants and they the leaves were white turned white and also the flowers it looked like they were frostbit um so it took them and i don't know a long most of the summer to recuperate and now they look really good. And you can see that on my backyard, um, backyard tour, which will be up tomorrow, I believe. I think I even talk about it in the tour. So look for that, actually. Um, sorry, that's not gonna be right because I did that video when did I do that? I think I did that yesterday. So it'll be up tomorrow, but you won't see this video for, I don't know when you'll see this video, but you'll have to go back and look for that um, video of my backyard, backyard tour. Isn't that cute? super cute. I'm at my dining room table here and um, we have a big huge bay window um, you know so it's the whole front of the dining room is windows but it looks like I was looking at because I did another video and it doesn't look as bright as it feels in here so I don't know. Um, what else I was gonna do and I won't do that one. We'll do this one again. Another one of these. The Sunday Gold Saloja. And then like I said, so I haven't figured out how to edit yet. So I can't show you like what it's gonna look like on the wall. And where I have it drying anyways is not cute. It's like on our stairs, um, in our hallway going upstairs to the upstairs. Oh, a bug. Um, so it's nothing special, but I want them to dry really cute. And then I'm gonna use some of them for 
decoration and I think I might make a wreath and I have some ideas but where it's hanging right now is not cute so <laughs> the stick is cute with all the cute flowers hanging on it but it's not in a cute place at all oh that one that one I hope stays on there after it dries out and that one will get hung on there so which ones I see what this one is hung already this one's hung that one this one is hung mm. even though it's not in a cute place I still want it to be cute so um because maybe I'll move it I don't know you know, maybe I'll take the stick and put it somewhere else. We have a few of them. So I think I'm going to put these ones together. They're all the same. Because they're just so cute together. Maybe I'll put them all together. Because I love it. Do a little experiment with them. Oh, and then I do want to make sure I take all the leaves off because they just get all crumbly and gross anyways so yeah oh yeah I'll do it like that and then this one's pretty short so I was gonna do a little cute short one because I have a little spot in my kitchen too where I'm drying things so I think I'm gonna do that for a different one and put several different ones together and just hang it on my wall in my kitchen Okay, we'll do this one and then that'll be good. I'm still new to YouTube, really, really new, just like within the last couple weeks. And I'm still trying to figure out um, recording and what looks best and how to put the camera, because I'm using my iPhone. We have a GoPro. I'm not familiar with how to use it at all, so I might try that at some point. We also have a really nice camera, but I don't know. I don't think it's really made because it's old. It's nice, but it's old, um, pretty old. I think I got it when Jonathan, uh, my son Jonathan, who's 15, and I had an Etsy shop, and I needed a nice camera. I think that's how old it is. So. I need something new. I also need to do some research too about all the things, just like editing and everything because I think this is something I'm really gonna enjoy. I like doing crafts and um, making pretty things. So I'm gonna have to take those leaves off there. But isn't that so So there you go. I'm going to tie them on there. Let me see. I'm going to move you guys too. That's going to be loud. I'm going to tie them on there. And see what it looks like. And then I will finish up all these other ones and then maybe get a picture or do a tutorial where I have them hanging. But I hope you like it, and I hope this video was, you know, fun to look at and listen to me ramble. So anyways, thanks guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.